hold in multiple pieces of a puzzle they can't finish. Yes, we will see what happens as we are now jumping in to game one. First series of the bottom bracket, this is Team Gosu going up against Legacy. Will a Legacy be made tonight or will one of these teams fall? Definitely excited to see how this plays out, Leo. And as it is, it's a... Uh... Not a mirrored uh, jungle, actually. It's vertical here between Ken and Zero. It's orange for the Barats, and then look at this. Look at look at how they're making a beeline for this little wonder. Yeah, definitely going right for it. I'm excited to see how things move in once we get into like a few minutes. If Fleur can make the rotations with these. Uh... Hold on a second. They might want to try to think think spicy very early on, but. <laughs> Everyone backs off me. I'm wondering, oh my god, a flame shot from Fovius comes up. First blood on the board already, Leo. Oh man, UA. Again, this is something that uh, you have when it's uh, Rome Faramis. You really don't have this problem when you're in mid because you kind of anchor down. When you're Rome Faramis, you have to go around. You really have to spread around the utility you have. And at level two, you have for the most part what you need. And look, they got trying to make up for it. Right? There's a pull. The gold is gonna get caught up. Taking down Yuki, picking up that kill. So now it's one for one on the board. I would say taking out that gold lane is gonna be a bit more important as we creep into the game though. So far, so good. Uh, stats say that gold has uh, a lot of kills. I, I'd say top five in NACT right now, but he also has a lot of deaths. So LG could be in their best interest to actually protect him. I, I don't know if Obi has the time because Obi's spending a lot of time in mid. If these fast rotations towards gold happens more often, then that's where we might see, and that might be the cause of the biggest gold lead. Oh, so far, Obi! Uh, Obi able to flicker out, get out of that feathered air strike, and now Fleur gonna quickly rotate down to this turtle, which Ken has already started, but all the members are here. The fight is about to break out. The XP comes in, Demonic Force locked onto Fleur, but the turtle goes over to Yuki. Ken now in a bad spot. JC trying to close the distance, can't quite get the finish, but Fleur does get taken out off cam. The XP able to pick that up with this Phobius. Will he be able to escape though? Wild charge, the re-engage. Ken brought very low, Colt Alter comes out. Is on them. They take the kill. EXP and Ken both go down, Leo. All right. So we did mention in the draft how there's only one real solid CC for Legacy, and that's in Obi's Wild Charge. Uh, but in the face of Gosu's utility, and again, if it's their fight to take, they were fighting on their side of the jungle, albeit a small corner of it. And then you have the uh, critical mass of UA's roaming Faramis. He already has a cult altar. He has a bit of CC as well with the shadow stampede. And then this is what happens. You have about a thousand gold lead, maybe a little more. And eventually the map will start to turn blue. That's what Gosu wants. And they're in a spot where they can actually crank it up to 11. They can not speed up. Look at UA. Look at the confidence in this Faramis. Yeah, I mean, I think that Faramis is going to be the key, right? It's going to be something that even if they get the one set, the one big CC set that they have, as you said, they're going to be able to out, you know, they're going to be able to withstand that. They're going to be able to get away. Here it comes. A nice wild charge oh. on a UA. He's going to be able to shadow stampede that out. Ken gets pulled back in. But once again, they're going to be able to deal with that initial attack that Legacy brings. So if Legacy wants to take this, how do they deal with that? Do they play a bit more responsive and wait for Gosu to come to them? Yeah, so we already uh, foreshadowed a little bit of what might happen because what Legacy wants to do is put together this giant puzzle of damage over time. But now I'm wondering, do they have enough peel to do that? Because it looks like they don't. Nash here is fine. He can pull the trigger on the black shoes. He's okay. So what does Legacy do? Where do they find the angle? Well, number one is they have the timeout the Cult Alter. Don't do it like this. Like, I'd say let them have the big objectives and build up to where there's a point where Cult Alter doesn't matter anymore. That, that may be at the six or seven minute mark. They, they need good items on their cores. Oh! And our little bit of a little bit of a play there. Turtle does go to the side of Gosu once again. Legacy, I, th I think at this point, Legacy maybe just trying to bide some time for gold up here. Also, possibly for Fovius to be able to actually do some things in that back line and just kind of playing the waiting game. But Gosu does not want to let that happen. We're only at five minutes in. Pretty big gold lead for the side of Gosu already. Items are starting to show up, Leo. 
endless battle on gold and uh, at least at least five minutes in you have some semblance of uh build on xp here on the fovius what happened about a minute or so ago that was step one in the grocery list of things lg has to do to make it back in this game they have to first force out the cult altar and then weave out of it they can't lean into it quite yet so that's one time out the cult altar and then number two is get a solid pickoff doesn't even matter can be flur can be general hell even zero if they can do that to a barats but that is their first and second step and then they can go from there that's how legacy can bounce back yeah, and they're, I mean, and they're playing it passive, right? Even right there, you just see Team Ghost kind of coming through the river. Legacy keeping vision on them, but wait a second, gold. Oh, gold. back. I don't know what the blazing duet. Obi does come in, tries to get the wild charge, but doesn't have anyone to back him up. No one able to take anything from Team Ghost. Do a kill and possibly a tower now going over to them. Luckily, the tower will get defend down on the bot side. A little bit of engagement, still wondering. Wait a second, Detona's welcome, locked on. 2 EXP, JC shows up. Tries to get the knock up, will he get the finish? Dominance Force comes out, but still not enough. That is gonna be another kill for the side of Gosu, and that gold tower is looking very, very slim. Overextension up top, we did miss it. It was off camera where General was punished, and I get it. I've, we've all been in this situation, everyone watching, where you can swear you could take down the turret if only you had one more basic attack, but we didn't see that moment, and General had to bite it. Only if. Only if General had a killing uh, a kill streak, then maybe it would have been worth it for Legacy. But the fact that that turret's still standing and they were able to get a punish made it worth it. Maybe that did give uh, Legacy what they needed to slowly come back. But man, I don't know. It's still it still definitely is Gosu's game to lose here. They're still in the driver's seat. Yeah, definitely in the driver's seat, but for the viewers, if you guys missed it, we did have a giveaway come up on screen a few seconds ago. If you're watching on Facebook, all you have to do is tag a friend, and if you're in the NACT Discord, just hashtag NACT Fall Season, and you will be res you will be sent a unique gift code. So get those skins now, Leo. Put the phone down. We don't need a. I don't think us casters are allowed to use this, but back to the game. I think Gosu definitely, you know, kind of dominating right now, kind of uh, feeling out. And it could still be their game to lose, but seeing seeing them evolve right now, even with this last draft with Zero picking up the Barats, and I was a little iffy about it, wondering how they were going to be able to pull off this type of composition. And they're pulling it off very, very clean right now. Yeah, no, I mean, that was a hashtag. Um, hashtag own the world. I will not let that sleep. M4, please use the hashtag, but no. Um, looking at it so far, the Barat is doing monstrous work. Again, he didn't even need uh, JC down there. He didn't need the Paquito to help take down the Fovius because it was actually just the Paquito triggering the Demonic Force, which let the Paquito live, or uh, rather, the Fovius live for maybe two or three seconds more. But if it was just zero, if it was just zero, it would have happened anyways. So maybe that would have helped General survive up top. So now looking at the map, not really much has changed. Again, 100% of turtles still went over to Gosu, taken there by zero. It's at the point where in the next turtle, which uh, rather no more, uh, I was I was gonna say he can start taking turtles alone. That's how a massive a Barats is in this current metagame. Yeah, and especially a Barats at two zero and two at only seven minutes in. Not only that, but Fleur right now has taken a death, but has been doing a decent job at making sure the positions, not just using those feathered airstrikes, you know, as exact will team fights, but clearing out waves, keeping legacy at bay before these objectives come up, right? So excited to see how that kind of continues to play out. And normally they would have someone to target on to Fleur here, but right now Obi kind of being forced to use that wild charge as the engage, not exactly as a peel or trying to stop ultimates. And they don't really have anyone else to get in there and stop it at this point. Yep, and th there's gotta be some level of uh... Uh, a mix of depression and a revelation that oh no my guardian's barrier doesn't work against the pharamis he can just shadow stampede out of it that's that's <laughs> the engage that has, has forced the top lane to overcommit and now there's a fight in mid Wow. Big wild charge. The XP instantly uses that demonic force. Tries to get on the floor, but the wings eye wings comes out. General comes in though with the blazing duet, doing a lot of damage. Able to dodge back out of the demonic force, and the XP is everywhere. Finally getting oh, locked up. Oh. 
back to the team and they finish him off. That's another kill on the board for the side of Gosu. And that is what I kind of meant, Leo. We see the Demonic Force and he goes to three or four different heroes, not able to really lock down one person because everyone is just dashing around. And that's all the more impressive because it takes a lot of communication to orchestrate overloading a demonic force. We've all been in team fights where there's a Povis and our instinct is to just clump up together and bear down on this massive slam dunk in purple man. But here in that last team fight in mid, they made the most of that space. General is relatively safe. Fleur was relatively safe. Again, wings by wings away helps quite a bit. That's key right now to Team Gosu's, I'd say, what was that now? Four, 5k gold lead. It's amazing. Now they're starting up Lord. And it's just Zero who's holding down the fort here. They're, they're, they're hiding in the bush. <laughs> they want them to make the engage on Zero, right? They're like, yeah, just go attack our Barats and we're going to come around and just sandwich you guys up. So, and, and you said it, like Zero can just sit there and do this and not really have a problem. He can take any sort of big engage they want to be in. This Barats is definitely fed and he wants to be fed more, right? So Lord now down to about 50%. Legacy though, looking for something here. Ken kind of holding the side of this wall, trying to find an angle. Obi does come in, taking a bit too much chip damage though. Already down to half health. This could be a bad start. Legacy though, still trying to find something. Lord has restarted now in both teams. Oh. It's slow. An amazing feint by Gosu. It was all for naught because I believe the real team fight, the real Lord fight, the scramble is about to begin. All this time, they were just forcing out five members of Legacy to defend against an inevitable Lord. But look down bottom. Look at your boy JC. He was just pushing the XP lane. Look, he's two turrets deep. Yeah, and he could, he could just keep doing this. He could just literally keep doing that. And unless Legacy sends someone over, they don't like they don't even have to go for the Lord. They're like, listen, you guys want to mess with us at this Lord? We're going to send JC down, get a couple towers from you, collect the chains, and walk away. And right now, uh -oh. Tito's just keeping it clean. A 5, 6k gold lead at this point. And now, JC's here. We're going to start working on this Lord. Can Legacy do something about it? Fleur brings down the Feathered Airstrike, trying to keep them up, but a possible conceal play. Obi comes in, wild charge. Oh. General picks up, but the Lord goes to Gosu still. Not enough from Legacy. JC now picking up another kill. Two members of Legacy are down as Zero connects on to Ken here. JC also has his back, misses the shot, trying to get something else, trying to find it. The XP does have that demonic force, but being patient with it, getting pulled back in, knows this is not the fight he wants to take. Let's try to stay in ground and hold on. Three Cs, one Gosu, that Lord, and that team fight again. A two for none pickoff, plus a Lord, huge win. Three Cs, confidence, control, Claude, all right? General there just understood, and I think the shot call came from either him or Fleur to hold the gr to hold their ground and say when cult altar's coming out, say when there is going to be, oh wait, oh! Does get deleted, Obi though will be next. General has his back, but General needs to try to get away from here. I love the quick response. Now JC though, finding someone, able to pick up Nash. XP now all alone against three, gets pulled back in from that Shadow Stampede, looking very low. General starting to shred down and Lord is still coming. Zero marching down the bottom lane with it, uses the to as welcome, able to lock onto Ken, taking a few tower shots, but he's bulky enough to do it. Maybe not bulky enough though. Ken picks him up, a little overextending on that welcome. A decent push for Gosu, but possibly a little flawed in those final parts. It's the Barats who got welcomed into the loving arms of Legacy's inhibitor turrets. Now, not just the turret, you, you have to consider it was the turret, he spent, what, a good five or six seconds underneath it, plus two heroes. So yeah, definitely zero overstayed his welcome and he was punished for it. Where did that put the turret? Just under half health. Uh, I'm saying that's not worth it. And if Legacy can find ways to make Gosu commit like that, then maybe they can shrink the 6k gold lead. Uh, I, I'm hoping for maybe a 2k gold lead or a 1k gold lead. If they can, then they can fight back. It's clear that you can see the item difference. It's clear that Legacy is short just yet. Look at their Clint here. Look at Gold. He has the Malefic Roar, has a Berserker's Fury. 
I'd say he needs one more item. I'm thinking maybe um, either a Haas Claws for some level of sustain. These team fights are going to go a long way. Or maybe a Bladed Spare just to throw no caution to the wind. Looking at Team Ghost this time around, they're happy. They're, 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 they're just fine here. Looking at Zero, he's about to build the Cursed Helm. He had a casual Molten Essence this whole time. So expect him to push turrets much, much faster, or lanes much, much faster in the next minute or so. Most definitely a casual Molten Essence. No need to finish it out until now. Right now, one thing you pointed out. I think the opportunity, if we want to talk about win conditions, legacy, take advantage of Gosu being a little bit aggressive, like what we just saw from oh. Zero, and try to find that. But Obi taking a lot of damage. General, DHS is definitely starting to make its magic onto practically the only real frontliner of legacy right now. EXP not really able to hold down either. Gosu taking their time. JC's kind of macroed up on that top lane. Maybe going to try to push into this mid as well, or just wait for the overall team fight and he's just going to come in on the back here. Yeah, this may sound like I'm crying over spilled milk, and it may be too little too late, but Legacy's lineup, if they were ahead, if somehow they won the early game, they would be snowballing onto a sure victory. But right now on the defensive, I'm guessing those moments that you mentioned, that we talked about, wherein it's Team Ghost who's overextending uh, and, and overcommitting, they only happen really in the base. So. There's no use contesting this Lord. It's so hard for Ken to do it. Ken, please. Fine, he's trying, does get pulled back though. He is coming in, oh! he picks up the but he may pay for his life, able to dash away. Legacy just needs to hightail and run it. They've gotten what they came for. No jest at all. A beautiful steal from Ken there, Leo. I love it. I mean, I think some of the utilities of Gosu are used a little bit too early before that before that Lord is down. General uses the Blazing Duet. The Shadow Stampede gets used up to pull Ken away, but it was too early. And Legacy find that moment. They find the crack and they take the Lord to buy some time here. Superb shot calling. Gold lead, schmold lead, it doesn't matter. They counted out when those resources were out. And I didn't even notice the retribution on, sh on, on zero was off. And a lot of ults, a lot of green went down. And now look, another fight. Oh. And Duet comes in, lined up with the Feathered Air Strike. Two members of Legacy already down. Obi Nash, a big damage dealer in the front line. Zero just gonna be able to work away at this Lord now. So just when we felt like Legacy was biding some time, we're back to kind of the same exact position. I mean, that Luminous Lord will help enhance the minion waves of Legacy. So we should see the map somehow getting a little more red and somehow making it easier for them to, to, to keep tabs on where damage is coming from. But look, Ken! That is rough, Ken. And Fleur, once again, just kind of on point with this. Another tower possibly going to fall. One thing we can't say, Gold starting to put out some decent damage. A lot of bursts on a U wave, but the Cult Altar keeps them alive there. Gold searching. EXP comes in with the Demonic Force, able to land on top of the Tonus. Welcome is here to welcome, and he's able to get out of it, though, with the Demonic Force. Pops on top of Fleur, and now Legacy keeps on pushing in. General comes in with the Blazing Duet. Instantly deleted, though. Immortality will oh. try to save him. AXP finishes and Fleur takes out Gold though, so it's a one for one trade on the map. JC still looking for something. Legacy forced to back off, but we're starting to see these team fights even out a little bit. Nash is a monster. I mean, that 1 3 4 KDA score doesn't speak, doesn't tell the story. It's so different from what we just noticed now. You see how, how much damage that Lilio was dropping? And that's what Pop General could have almost taken down Fleur too. So with that being said, yes, the team fights are almost evening out. And yes, Legacy is getting much better at baiting out these key ults and these resources from Team Gosu. And it's slowly getting closer to the center. I mean, look at this, 54 to 48. I mean, yeah, it's still a pretty big gold lead. I'd say 5K, 6K close to that. But the damage from Legacy is starting to matter. D.O.T. fam, that's a story here, D.O.T. Yeah, and I think as long as they can kind of, you know, you said in the very beginning, as long as they can wait out that Colt Altar and strike back. Another thing I think in that last team fight, EXP so close to getting brought into that zone as welcome, but the cooldown on the Demonic Force came just in time, or somebody flickered just in time for him to escape the jaws of that Barats. Now with Lord, being brought back up again. 
both teams, this time Legacy seems a little more confident with it. They're not as backed off. Ken, he's feeling it. And they take out JC now on the boss side. This could be the opportunity for Legacy to turn this around. Ken feels comfortable with his Rectory game. He's already stole one Lord. He thinks he can do this again. Maybe it's not even going to be a steal. Maybe Legacy will be on top of this Lord fight. General trying to keep Obi at bay, but Obi wants the engage. Ken now pushing Team Gosu back with the rest of the team. Black Shoes oh. does pop. Lord coming down. Flur brings in oh! the goes to the side of Legacy once again. That is huge, Leo. That's two Lords now and a huge trade. And at the price of Obi. Yes, please. I'll take that trade any day. Twice on Sundays. It's Sunday for me here in the Philippines. Amazing! Legacy coming back. Making headway trailblazing on the map they got their six man up top lord pushing in if nobody takes care of it they're gonna get this tier two and slowly but surely their minion waves are just thick they are thick as g says oh man legacy where did this come from they they bided enough time and now they are there they have arrived lord <laughs> marching down. Everyone's kind of hightailing it back to base, trying to prepare for this. General should be able to melt it down pretty quick, and as long as Gosu doesn't make any huge mistakes, JC comes on to Nash there. Nash forced to use those black shoes. Gosu should be able to defend this, but they still lose some ground. They lose some material. Oh! Deletes General with that demonic force. Pulse Alter does come out, but also JC caught off with the wild charge. He's taken out, and even if EXP goes down here, it's okay, but he's still up. Feather Dare Strike comes down, but Fleur is backed off before it can do any damage. Legacy trying to fin this, finish this game right here, but Zero has oh, now showed up. Oh. And game one, ladies and gentlemen, goes to Legacy. Victory. That's Mobile Legends. That's how you mount a comeback. <laughs> You, you, could, wow. you could literally have not watched the first 15 minutes and said, yo, that's definitely legacy winning, but wow. Wow. They were able to come back. I mean, Gosu just...